We continue our series looking at the state of each and every franchise, and on this episode, we break down the state of the Minnesota Twins. Let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Laddick right here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. And as I said in the open, today we break down the state of the Minnesota Twins. Now, to look at the Twins, we have to begin with their acquisitions. They were very busy this offseason. They would bring in the services of Joe Smith, Chris Archer, Dylan Bundy, Sonny Gray, Gio Urshela, Gary Sanchez, Emilio Pagan, Chris Paddock, and most notably, Carlos Correa. When you look at all of these acquisitions, the Twins are really trying to solidify themselves and push themselves to compete against the likes of the White Sox at the top of this division. There's a lot to like about this team. So as we look at the 2022 X Factor, I believe that Gary Sanchez is actually going to be the X Factor for this Minnesota Twins ball club in 2022. And the reason that I say that is I believe that Gary Sanchez will have a big bounce back year, getting away from all the pressure that he had in New York. Being able to relax and just play the game without all of the pressure is going to allow him to be able to get back to being the hitter that he was once thought to be. I also believe that the Twins are going to have him more as a designated hitter than as a catcher, which will also improve his overall value now as we get into the state of the pitching staff as a whole i think that this is a c grading for this roster when you look at what this pitching staff is there's a lot of questions and a lot of concerns there's not a whole lot of stability and certainty coming out of this pitching staff for the minnesota twins i think if they're going to try to compete with the likes of the white Sox for the top of this division all season long they're going to have to improve their pitching staff there are going to be some players to like and start to try to rally around and build around but to me there's more question marks than answers coming out of that pitching staff so as we look at the state of the offense for the minnesota twins i really like this offense and i think this is where this team is really trying to build upon this is a B plus overall franchise grading for the state of the offense. I think when you look at what you have with the acquisitions of Carlos Correa to add to the newly extended Byron Buxton, now you have one of the most dynamic one-two punches at the top of your order. You add that in and you supplement that with guys like Miguel Sano, Jorge Polanco, Gary Sanchez, who I believe will have a bounce back year, Gio Urshela, Max Kepler. Now this franchise really is pushing that offense and pushing the rest of the division towards the bottom because of how strong they are. Now, as we look at the state of the franchise overall, to me, this is a B-level grading. Again, they're built upon their offense, which can get streaky at times. But if you have some reinforcements coming with the pitching staff, if you acquire some services of some better pitchers at the deadline, this can truly make the Minnesota Twins a much more formidable threat in the American League Central and the American League playoff race as a whole. Now, I'm going to make a very bold claim here for the Minnesota Twins, and that bold claim is that Carlos Correa will be traded at the deadline. But I want to hear from you guys let me know your thoughts and your feelings on the minnesota twins down in the comment section below what are your feelings their strengths and their weaknesses are and let me know that down in the comments or, or you can keep the conversation rolling by finding me over on twitter at jay ladder 19 keep it locked into the entire jlmg family with we sips the granny geek show and of course here on the baseball banter broadcast all season long for sticking around all the way to the end i'm going to offer you a promo code on our merchandise shop baseballbanterbroadcast.com use the promo code banter to save five percent off your order keep it locked in as we continue to break down the states of each and every franchise as well as bringing you the latest news notes and my personal thoughts theories and opinions on the game of major league baseball peace